Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Cancer. So this is going to be a you and them love reading. I'll have your cards on one side and your person's cards on the other. This could be somebody specifically on your mind, somebody connected to or coming towards you, depending upon your situation. For the main cards of the reading, I'll be using the Mystical Manga Tarot, the Fortune Telling Tarot deck by Yoshitaka Amano, and the Anime Tarot for Clarifiers. I'm recording this message for the energies of November, but I do ask these readings to be timeless and give you something you need to hear when you need to hear it. So let's get started. Spirit, what is the heart of the matter? What is Cancer thinking overall about this connection or potential connection? What are some things going on in the daily life could be affecting this? What is happening in the heart space? What intentions do you have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? We do have a lover's energy on the bottom of the deck. I see something want to peek out here too as well, the fool. So Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, for me as a reader with this fool energy, but some of you could definitely be calling in some new love here with the fool and the lovers. But I feel like for many of you, you do have somebody that could be specifically on your mind, could even be falling for them and realizing, you know, more and more how much they mean to you with this lover's energy. With the fool, there is clear karma, zero point, new beginning, a desire to take a leap of faith. Now, these energies are on the bottom of the deck, so you could be thinking about and feeling all of this, but maybe you haven't taken those steps just yet. Let's go ahead and get the cards. The person on your mind connected to or coming towards you. What are they thinking overall about this connection or potential connection? What are some things going on in the daily life? What are some things going on in their daily life could be affecting this? How are they feeling? How are they feeling in their heart space? What intentions do they have towards this connection? And what is a potential outcome in the near future for whenever you are meant to hear this message? One more card. One more card. Oh my goodness. Okay. So heart of the matter here, we have the king of swords. Could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. That doesn't have to be. Could be strong your chart or your persons. But there's definitely clarity here. Integrity. There's focus. Determination. It's somebody who knows who they are, knows what they want. I mean, there is definitely a lot of logic here. I feel like sometimes the King of Swords can be somebody who's... Um, I don't know, more serious and determined than like less likely to show their vulnerable side right off. It doesn't mean that there isn't a lot of depth here, but this could be somebody, you know, who is, I don't know, I just heard the words like all business and I don't know what that even means, but you know, I feel like there could be somebody who's very interested in you. They're definitely having some stronger feelings than you know, and we've already seen the lovers. You could be falling for somebody too, but there's something about them, you know, I don't know, maybe playing it cool or not necessarily showing their you know what they're feeling at least maybe not yet but with this energy the king of swords it is very positive it is very determined it is very focused you should you could be getting some real clarity about something or someone and feeling more sure maybe than you had previously um about you know what it is what your thoughts are it's like so much mental clarity with that showing up in the thought space your person has the temperance energy. Sagittarius energy could be significant, but there are a couple cards because in their heart space, they've got the seven of pentacles, which for me can be kind of a minor arcana temperance energy because it really is about divine timing. Like both of these cards are about patience and divine timing. There's something about this person that I feel like they're, they could be a little bit in like wait and see mode. Like what's going to happen? Where's this going to go? With a temperance energy for me, 
you know, love reading. It is the two of cups, the love, the potential, the connection, the two people coming towards one another in the hands of divine, like being guided. This person could be seeing signs, thinking of you, noticing, you know, things that make them think of you could be the littlest thing. Like they hear a song and all of a sudden you're just on their mind. And, um, and I feel like honestly, you're both of you are thinking about each other quite a lot here. Just looking at the big picture of these cards, but with the temperance energy, it's like something is, they're feeling like something's meant to happen or going to happen at the right time. They could even be feeling like, well, it's in the hands of fate, it's in the hands of divine, and yet I feel like, you know, you're definitely the person that they that they want to be with just looking at the big picture here in your daily life you've got the justice energy libra energy could be significant but this is wanting you know things to be fair and balanced and you know equal give and take wanting you know somebody to feel for you what you feel for them for me it's the law of attraction it's the way that you know what we put out is what always comes back to us and with the justice energy there is something that is balancing out in your favor because you have put, you know, put in some um, some time and some energy in a really positive way, maybe into a specific connection, maybe to something else with this showing up in your daily life. But there is something coming together in your favor, and I feel like it's due now. With the justice energy, you could be finalizing and you know. Um, releasing some things from the past you could also have something like legal turning out in your favor obviously this is a love reading but um but with the justice i feel like it is very positive and when it comes to a love reading for me it really is all about balance clarity and you could really be setting some intentions oh my goodness um to attract in the kind of person that you know does treat you right it, it to have a fair and balanced connection it's clarified by the star. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the page of pentacles. Look at what is kind of peeking out here. The six of cups, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius could be significant, but page of pentacles definitely could be talking to somebody or wanting to talk to somebody or start something up with a six of cups you could be feeling very nostalgic about somebody thinking about somebody maybe missing or hoping to hear or see someone or you could be feeling you know if that doesn't apply if this is somebody new or somebody you're connected to um that or haven't even met yet you could be feeling a strong connection, like a soul connection. The Six of Cups for me is somebody you feel like you can be yourself around. And we have the Justice Energy cleared, clarified by the star. This is somebody who's you know been through some things the star comes after the tower you've been through your share but you found yourself in the process and you could be even more you know aware right now of who you are and what it is you want you could even be overcoming something that had been difficult you know that you were finding yourself in the process and now things are really beginning to balance out in your favor you could be really like showing up to like this person could be really wishing for you and noticing you in a big way in their daily life they've got the queen of swords and like i said the two of you are thinking about each other quite a lot could be talking could be communicating or could be specifically just thinking about one another because swords are mental energy it almost feels like both of you are kind of crystal clear like you know in your mind there is something that is right here um but um but i don't know you know it seems like this person's in a little bit of waiting mode you are in a little bit of a healing mode here with the star energy but with the queen of swords that is somebody who wants to tell it like it is it is somebody who could be realizing you know just how much you mean to them and could be wanting to make something very very clear the queen of swords just at times can be very blunt can just like lay it out on the table like somebody could be thinking of communicating something and it's definitely something from the heart with the outcome cards that I'm looking at. And in your heart space, you've got the two of swords. Libra energy again, but two of swords is when it is time to make a heart overhead decision and somebody's up in their head. 
It's clear. You've got the star. You know, this is somebody who's rising from the ashes of something really challenging, something really difficult. Whatever you've been through, be it recent, be it with this person, or be it something in your past, it's like you've overcome. You found yourself. You're tentatively, you know, moving forward and you don't want to get hurt again. I feel like with this arms crossed here, that is somebody whose heart is a little guarded. That could be why with the King of Swords, you know, trying to be logical and sensible and maybe think things through. But this is a time when it really is important to listen to your heart, the way the water and the moon are behind this person, and they're kind of stuck in indecision because their heart and their head aren't agreeing. It is a time that you have to kind of look into your heart space. Like there's something you intuitively know here that is going to help you move forward in this. And we have, wow, the temperance energy. And it just flew out and almost landed like right next to the your person's temperance energy. I mean, both of you could be waiting for the other person to take, take a step or make a move. It doesn't have to be that, but it can be. Both of you could be feeling guided. You could be being divinely guided to somebody, somebody that you could have, you know, especially with that six of cups, a very deep connection to. But I feel like, you know, the two of swords clarified by the temperance energy, whatever it is that maybe you've been in your head about, or maybe you've been guarded about, I feel like it's all working together. Like somewhere deep down, you know, because this is major arcana showing up in your heart space. It's something that is meant to come together, meant to work out. Nothing is going to stop it. I know, I remember at one point in my life, I kind of panicked and ran away from, oh, which was probably like, the most powerful, like powerful love, powerful connection, but I was so freaked out, you know, but I had this sense, like if it's meant to be, it's going to come together. Even if I'm an idiot, even if I make mistakes, even if I run, even if I'm guarded, those things that, you know, the universe has brought together, this per the person that I'm meant to be with, and I believe these things from the bottom of my heart, I wouldn't do what I do for a living if I didn't. It is going to come together. And that could be exactly what you know, like something is bound to come together. Your person has a seven of pentacles in their heart space. Taurus energy could be significant here, but this is somebody who's patient waiting they've put in some you know time and energy um maybe into the connection or maybe just into you know um themselves and hoping for you know something to unfold like i feel like the seven of pentacles if it's somebody you haven't met yet it's somebody who could be doing a little inner work to be like ready for something but obviously many of you know you know who it is specifically on your mind and this is somebody who could be waiting for the right moment the right time but they're waiting with the absolute hope that what it is that they want is definitely going to happen I'm not sure if they know for sure, but they're definitely in their heart space. It's like they wait. They've waited for you. If you haven't met yet, they waited for you. And I asked what they're waiting for specifically, and I got the Page of Wands. On the bottom of the deck, the Page of Pentacles. And I saw the Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck earlier. I feel like both of you are definitely wanting to talk. Sometimes with the pages, it can be somebody who's, you know, playing things cool a little bit to get a little bit or, uh, better, uh, better idea. Um, but we have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. I asked what they're waiting for and for me, the Ace of Wands is communication, taking a step, maybe sending a message, asking to talk, asking to see somebody, or taking some sort of initiative. Once again, for me, pages are always a little tentative. It's like somebody who reaches out and asks something maybe a little more casual, but there's more to it. Like there's clearly more that this person is hoping for and waiting for because this is in their heart. Somebody could be waiting to hear from you or they could be deciding, you know, when is the right time to say or do something. Your intentions are the queen of pentacles, strong Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo. I love this for intentions because it is such a stable, beautiful energy. This is somebody who recognizes their value and is looking for a match with somebody who sees them, recognizes them, values them. And so you could definitely be feeling like, you know, this could be somebody that I could be happy with. I always feel like the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles kind of energy is the 
his two people, you know, coming together is like the physical embodiment of, you know, Emperor Empress energy, like coming together in a very real way to create something, to have something, something enduring, something stable. I feel like you know in your heart what it is that you want, how you deserve to be treated, and that is, you know, what you intend. And I feel like you know, with that energy, it's like your intentions are very good, very honorable, and I feel like you're going to be recognized for that. Your person now has the five of swords, which is going in circles, stress, drama, hurt feelings, you know, swords are mental energy. So it can be somebody who's going in circles in their mind. Um, Aquarius energy could be significant. I don't feel like anybody really intends the five of swords, you know, because it is like it can be stress, drama, anxiety, things like that. But it can be because of what, you know, your person's outcome is, which I feel like is making a, a some sort of big move towards a connection that they feel is very significant, they could be feeling very anxious about it. They could be intending to think about it, but it's almost like their thoughts are stressing them out. Yeah. See, they've got a, um, they've got a two of swords too. Like somebody was up in their head and a little bit guarded and they have a five of swords with a seven of cups, which is somebody who could be imagining, dreaming, thinking about you, even, you know, fantasizing with the seven of cups, like that kind of energy. But as somebody who's pulled this way and that, this person is clearly a little conflicted and a little confused about exactly what move to make, what step to take. I'm going to see if I can get a little more insight. Spirit, why do we have... The seven of, my goodness. Okay, why do we have the seven of cups? I was gonna, I just noticed I was shuffling and I was gonna like shuffle in front of you guys because I know a lot of people like that. And the king of wands just jumped out. I feel like somebody could take you by surprise for sure the way that king of wands just like jumped out. We've got a knight of swords, but look at this. This lovers is here again. Aquarius energy once again. There's a lot of mental energy here. I think the two of you are thinking about each other like crazy. I mean, I feel like you're on their mind. They're on your mind. Their mind rushes to you. But it's because this could be a little more serious than you know. And um, clarifying this is the King of Wands. And it's funny because I almost didn't take it because I was like, it jumped out and I really wanted to like, you know, shuffle a little longer and everything. But I feel like it is because there's some sort of anxiety. There's some sort of confusion. I feel like somebody does want to say something, do something. King of Wands, um, I mean, that is somebody who's very confident, taking a big step, making a strong move. I feel like they're almost like a little undecided, like just the way I felt about the card when it came out. Like, do I just go for it or, or do I hold back? It's like they're still deciding. Aries, Leo, strong Sagittarius energy here. But I think they're thinking a lot about it because we do have an empress showing up. And we'll talk about it in a minute. But the feelings are strong. And I think it's making this person second guess themselves a little bit. And um, and I think, honestly, you know, there's some things that you're thinking about and sorting out as well. Your potential outcome is a three of wands, the nine of cups, and the nine of wands. Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius energy here. But both of these are wish cards. These are wish com wishes coming true. The three of wands is your ships coming in. And the nine of cups is something that you've been hoping for and wishing for coming towards you. We also have a nine of wands, which is somebody type who's been through it. And I know, it's like, I know when you get a star here, you've been through a tower. When you get a, not a nine of wands, it's like you've been through your share of things. You've had times you felt like giving up, throwing in the towel, but you're finding the strength to move forward. I feel like there's some healthy boundaries here. There is a desire to see something through, to move forward, to finish, you know, something. If it's something that, you know, you, that you started and you want to see through, um, if that applies to your situation, it's not going to apply to every situation, but whatever it is, it's finding the strength to move towards something because look at this. It's something you've been hoping for. It's something that you have been wanting and it's something that this person is planning to say or do because look at the energies here for their potential outcome. We have the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Empress. 
Aries, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Libra can be significant. Never worry if you don't hear a sign. We all have so many signs in our chart. And sometimes somebody's Venus can come through even stronger than their sun. And you don't might not even know what their Venus is. So never worry about that. Um, I don't know why I felt like somebody need to hear that. But, um, but with the Two of Wands and the Page of Cups and the Empress... There's somebody I feel like who is thinking about you. They're thinking about the next step. They're thinking about the next move and maybe even overthinking it, maybe a little back and forth, but it's because how much you're coming to mean to this person. You don't get the empress if there isn't something, you know, very significant about a connection. You've seen the lovers twice and the empress for me in a love reading, that is that person. But when you meet them, you know, no matter what happens, it's something's going to be different. Your life is going to be different. So it's somebody you were meant to meet. With the two of wands, it's somebody who feels like you're a match, is interested, wants to talk, wants to explore this, planning to do something, maybe hasn't necessarily taken that step, but it's paired with a page of cups. I feel like whatever this message is in their heart that they're wanting to say or express with this page of wands, I feel like it could get a little more personal, a little more flirty for me the page of cups and a love reading it means many things in different readings but for me it means somebody who's kind of flirting you know new feelings like kind of bu um, bubbling up or feelings being like revisited in a more like genuine and personal way and it's so interesting because we started out you know with all this logic and all this sensible energy with all this swords energy but here we have a page of cups which is very vulnerable it's very much from the heart so there's some Something about you there's something about this connection that's causing this person to find their strength and find their confidence to honestly show their softer side and it's because with the empress this person sees you as the one i mean the empress energy is somebody who feels like there's tremendous potential anything is possible the two of you could really make something happen and i feel like it's because that's what you're the holding space for or embodying in this Queen of Pentacles energy with that awareness of your value and what it is that you really desire, you attract in somebody who recognizes that. It might start, you know, a little slow with a little bit of the two of wands, which can be somebody who's planning to make a move, the page of cups, a little flirty, but I feel like it could really turn into something with that Empress energy. And I love that for you. So if you enjoyed the message, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed, I would love if you would. Thank you again so much, and I'll talk to you all soon.